They did not realize when they invited me that I would be actually ticking off one of my dreams to accomplish on my bucket list, which was to be present with 500 women around me. So I will go and share this with my family and friends when I go back. Not only 500 women, but 500 bright and smart women. 500 women who are compassionate and in a very noble profession. As I was putting the presentation together, I was asking myself, what do I go and speak to nurses for a period of 20 to 30 minutes? It's completely new to me. So as I was thinking about it, I said, all day long I'm sure there may be a number of theories and presentations being put forth to you. So possibly what I would do is to share some learnings with you through some stories. And at the end of the session, even if you take away three learnings, three takeaways, that would be more than sufficient and it would have justified my trip from Bangalore. So if you see this first slide, it says that you have the power to heal people, patients and families. And yours is a very unique profession to be in very different from every other profession. You know, my dear friends, I've spent about two decades in the corporate world. And the, and the moment that I look forward to on a day-in, day-out basis is the time that I get to spend with my family around the dining table in the night. That is whenever I'm able to get back home. After a hard day's work, 10, 12, sometimes 14 hours of work, it is those moments which make me realize and gives me a sense of purpose of living. Because it is during those moments around the dining table where we have an unwritten rule of no technology being close at hand, be it iPads, telephones, TV remotes, we keep them all at bay. And we use those few moments to share with each other what have been our fears, our achievements, our plans. And I must tell you, yesterday as we were having dinner, my wife, recollected an incident with relation to Apollo Hospital where my second child was born and it was early morning that we went to the hospital and my child at that point of time took a little while in coming I had skipped breakfast it was towards lunch time and I was keeping an eye on the chief gynecologist and I noticed at one point of time that she was walking away towards the cafeteria I quickly ran behind her and I saw her taking a tray of food I grabbed a packet of egg biryani and halfway into it she got a call and she rushed back into the, this one into the labor room and I had got special permission to get into the labor room to experience the delivery. I left my egg biryani behind and I rushed and finally it so happened that both of us almost missed the delivery of my child. He was almost halfway out yeah, with the other doctors helping my son out. That's my son Rohan, the one on the left I mean that the Nambudris in those days, they were very rich landlords. They had huge estates, farms, and tracts of land. And it so happened that it was taken away by the government at that point of time. And the women folk, in order to contribute to the family, because they, from one day, being very rich landlords, moved into poverty, they then went out into the world to seek a profession. And it was at that very point of time that the Christian missionaries were around. And they had several vocations that they opened out. And one of those professions or vocations which was open for these women and which they chose was the nursing profession as they saw it as being noble and they found it a safe option to get into. I'm sure we in India here look up to a lot of people and particularly those actors and sportsmen. And sometimes there is a wishful thinking in our minds that how I wish we were on stage.